in my last video I have unboxed the DJI Osmo Pocket link is up here and one of my beef with the Osmo Pocket is that it doesn't have the universal thread that you could use to attach your tripod on so in this video we are gonna build our DIY GoPro mount for the Osmo Pocket The idea is to create something that would grab the Osmo at the butt and I'm going to add flanges so it could then be attached to my GoPro. That's the concept. Let's start by taking down the measurement of the Osmo pocket. I want to give this a wiggle room so I'm gonna pad each side by half a millimeter. I'm adding this foam on one end so as to not scratch my Osmo. This foam is about 4 millimeters thick so I am accounting that into the measurement. I'm going to angle the flanges so they pinch when they're attached, holding the Osmo pocket in place. So this is how I imagine this in my head. The bottom will be left open so I can still access the USB port if needed. The flanges should pinch to hold the device in place. I'm building this with my old 3D printer. If you do not own or have access to a 3D printer, stay until the end and I'm going to show you how to create this without a 3D printer. I went on the Tinkercad.com and built my design according to the dimensions I have listed. Tinkercad is the most intuitive 3D modeling program I have ever used. I basically just put together basic shapes like cubes, cylinders, and triangles, and this is what I came up with. Once I'm done, I exported the STL file and brought it to my 3D slicing software, which is a freeware by Cura, the makers of Ultimaker and made sure that I set each of the parameters to my requirements. I saved the G-code onto an SD card and started printing. This looks like a bad print. Well, it really is, but looks usable. Perfect fit. Now let's piece this together. I put the foam padding on the pinching side. This piece here broke off. Oh well, still is usable. Then I do a test fit. The Osmo isn't going anywhere. Now I attach the Go pole. I turn it over. I give it a shake to see if it falls, it doesn't. Here's a quick run, looks good. Now here's how you do it without a 3D printer. You will need old PVC ID cards, pink piggy scissors, rulers, super glue, sandpaper, pencil. Lightly sand the surface of your PVC ID card and locate the middle, cut it in half. Make sure that they have the same width. Glue the pieces together like so. Fold in the seam. Then get your Osmo pocket and locate your next fold. Fold to create the flanges, round the edges, punch a hole in the flanges, and give it a test. Now that I have this, 
I could practically attach this to anything I want. I could easily attach this to my GoPro, tighten the thread like so, or with the help of this, coupled with my quick release plate. Now I can mount this to my Gorilla Pod. Like that. Or my tripod. Or even my Zhiyun crane. See, it's a gimbal on a gimbal. Like Inception. Pa pow So that is all for today's video. I hope you learned something new. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tutorials on video shooting. Stay creative. See you next time. Bye.